In this video, we'll explore how to achieve total cost allocation using tools in Vantage, including virtual tags, dynamic cost allocation, handling untagged resources, and creating cost allocation segments. We'll also dive into how these features support the processes of showback and chargeback. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to allocate costs accurately across your organization, ensuring that every team is aware of their cloud spending and motivated to optimize it. So let's start with virtual tags. In many organizations, not every cloud resource is tagged correctly or even at all. And this can create challenges when you're trying to allocate costs or identify which team is responsible for what. Virtual Tags Advantage help to solve this problem by allowing you to organize and categorize resources in a way that aligns with your business needs, even if those resources aren't tagged in their cloud provider. Here, you can see the Virtual Tags section in Vantage. You can create tags that represent different departments, projects, or cost centers. So for example, let's say you have a project that spans multiple departments but doesn't have consistent tagging. By applying a virtual tag called Project Alpha, you can aggregate all relevant resources under this tag, regardless of their actual tags in the cloud provider system. This ensures that costs are accurately attributed, enabling you to perform both showback and chargeback. Now let's move on to dynamic cost allocation. This tool is also part of the virtual tagging screen and is important for dividing shared costs, like those support fees, among different teams or departments. So for example, we can create a rule that allocates the AWS support fee across teams based on their usage of AWS. Once we set up the rule, Vantage will automatically apply it, ensuring that costs are correctly divided each month. This not only simplifies cost management, but it also promotes accountability amongst teams. And another challenge FinOps practitioners face is dealing with untagged resources. Untagged resources can throw off your cost allocation and can make it difficult to identify which team or project is responsible for certain expenses. So in Vantage, there are a couple of ways you can do with this. And one of the most simple is on a cost report. Here, I can filter for untagged resources. And from here, you can either work to apply virtual tags or manually allocate the costs on your own. This ensures that every resource is accounted for and helps you to maintain accuracy of your cost reports. Now let's talk about cost allocation segments. Segments allow you to break down your cost data by specific criteria, such as departments or regions. And this feature is particularly useful when you want to create something like a burn down report to identify unallocated costs. Here in Vantage, you can create a segment by selecting the relevant criteria, such as a region or application environment. And then unallocated costs will be displayed on the corresponding segment report, which can help you quickly identify areas where costs are not properly assigned. So by regularly reviewing these segment reports, you can maintain accurate cost allocation and prevent any gaps in your financial reporting. So to wrap this all up, Showback is all about visibility. So by using tools like segments and virtual tags, you can provide detailed reports to teams, showing them exactly what they're spending and understand portions of the costs that are not yet allocated. This will promote awareness and encourage teams to be more mindful of their cloud usage. And chargeback, on the other hand, involves directly billing teams for their specific usage. You can use tools like dynamic cost allocation to ensure that static support costs are equally billed across teams based on their actual usage. This not only drives cost efficiency, but it also fosters a sense of ownership among teams.